This is really great. Three years ago on March 13th, I sat in this very room at the Norwood Bed and Breakfast, just west of Cambridge Narrows, New Brunswick. Previous evening, every one of my bookings had canceled for 2020 and the beginning of the pandemic ushered in a completely new era for my life. As professional speakers like myself lost their entire income and had no idea the next time we'd ever be at a school. It was in this room that the owners of this B&B, Innes and Doug, said I could stay for free from the previous night, putting a tear in my eye as I had no idea when my next bit of income would be. Ten days later, I began my first shift at Costco, and that made for uh, both an interesting and uplifting and challenging 2020 for me. But now, it's 2023, and I'm back. I'm back on the road, had a great week here in New Brunswick, and today I return to the school that was my last speech ever before the pandemic. Belle Isle Regional School, home of the Bears. I'm actually wearing the t-shirt they gave me three years ago, and it's great to be back here. So to Innes and Doug and uh, the Norwood B&B and the community of Belle Isle, it's great to be back because the comeback is always going to be bigger than the setback. This is great. For two years of virtual speeches, I would show a picture from this angle of me on stage here at Belle Isle Regional Middle School and High School leading the dexterity check with the caption, my last assembly before the pandemic started. And I always put quotes around the last because it was not going to be my last assembly in the school. I knew it, that I would be back, not only as a speaker visiting schools, but back in this room. I'm very excited here. In late February of 2023, almost three years exactly, to be back at Belle Isle Regional Middle School High School. Here we go. Raise your hands. And dexterity check. this video with Ms. McFadden looking at that, answering questions and asking questions and volunteering here at Belle Isle, home of the, Bears. home of the, Bears. and Bears. Thank you, Andy. Great to be here. This is great. I'm at Belle Isle Regional School, uh, just a little northeast of St. John, New Brunswick. It's Friday. It's Waffle Day. And there's like a lineup of people getting free waffles. The SRC Student Council group has been making waffles. Young leaders like this, give a little wave. Making waffles. There's a lineup. There's toppings. It's fantastic. The community spirit here, they just did a roast beef dinner for their se local seniors. They have a great breakfast program. They're putting food in people's bellies with a smile on their face. Waffles at Belle Isle Regional. This is great. This is great. I'm at Belle Isle Regional uh, Middle School High School here in New Brunswick, and they're doing agroponics here. That is growing, um, well, fish, fish. Uh, they started this big in December, and they're getting quite a bit larger here in the uh, last week of February. And they will harvest these fish in May. And believe it or not, they'll do Taco Tuesdays, but it'll be fish tacos that they 
harvested themselves. I've never heard anything like this. It's a brand new project. A veteran teacher with over 30-ish years of teaching experience willing to try something new. They built a greenhouse as well. Hands-on learning, learning food safety. What a great idea. This is great. This is great. And this is Archie. It's the principal's dog here at Belle Isle Regional Middle School, High School. He's the therapy dog. He's the mascot. He's everybody's friend. Folks, the star of the show, it's Archie. This is great. Uh, <laughs> so Oh my god. Yeah, 40. Okay, that was so great. Yeah. 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 Yeah.